Okay, here's kind of a video tutorial of a, what will be an engine swap in this 2011 F-150 with an EcoBoost uh, platform. This truck has just had immaculate uh, care and AMSOIL all its life and it's going to be very interesting to see what uh, what goes on. There is a uh, there's the miles um, as to why if we're lucky enough to see why that uh, failure occurred so first things first the front end's gonna come off and go so we can uh, get the engine out okay it's progressing starting to work on the uh, Radiator got the fan cassette panel panels out. So making some progress. Okay, progressing. Got the uh, core support out and the uh, AC condenser and radiator out. Getting down to brass tacks with uh, some of the piping and. Um, Things are getting busy. So soon we'll pull it into the uh, to the shop and see what we got. All right, it's uh, it's dark out now, so we've called it, calling it a day and got the fillers, the fascia, the fan panels, <sighs> intercooler. Look, <laughs> look at all this. Very, uh, very busy engine. Okay, and here's the night eerie truth of the basic block. We haven't yet pulled the plenum. But we noticed, and this won't be evident yet, but there is a hole through the block on the driver's side too. And you're not going to be able to see that. We'll show you that when we get it out and expose it. So, this is what you get. You know, the, it affords a, a nice, some nice room to, to do it and bumpering all that out of the way makes it uh, hopefully pretty easy. I'll let you know. Everything, everything uh, off, all the cowlings and the exhaust. Now we're getting ready with the crane to uh, pop the engine out. Okay, as we get the uh, Lower suspension covers off, shields, whatever you like to call them. We're starting to see signs of the blowout on uh, on our task we're performing. That's the block. Chunks of uh, aluminum, white metal, whatever it is. Okay. Looks like uh, extraction's going good and things are out. So we'll start to uh, expose things for what they are and try to understand what happened with regard to failure. Okay, so now out and apart is the oil pan. There's some, but not money, not much uh, debris in there. There's AMSOIL, nothing but AMSOIL all its life. Here's one part of the connecting rod, half, and there's the other. You're looking at the opposing side or the passenger side right here. There's what's left of it. The 
You can't see it, but the skirt of the piston is all torn up on the opposing side. Cylinders right here. So we got the uh, Ford crated motor. We'll see what, uh, what's all on it. Okay, now let's just transfer the parts time. New versus uh, old. This is very busy here, these fuel injectors, getting all the harnesses and everything down uh, right, all back in their looms. And that ravine between the cylinder heads down in the block is just meant for mice. Though there were none here, I think I'm going to stuff a fabric softener sheet down there before the day is done. So now we're going to get the engine up and we'll then put the turbo is back on and the turbos have the updated feeder lines as well as the inlets and the filtering screens which have been replaced. In other words when you get the new when you get the new engine you get the updated parts when you buy the long block. And the turbo lines and the filtering screens are the screen area is twice that of what it was, I guess to put it simply. So here we go. Okay, so here we are. We got the turbos uh, all mounted up. New gaskets, new uh, oil supply lines as I said for the turbos themselves as well as the drain back tube. Well, tomorrow we'll pluck it. The thing that bothers me the most is lining up this torque converter. I'm not overly intrigued with uh, with that setup. How do you pull a stud through from the back side when you can't even feel the thing? So we'll see. Maybe through the starter hole, grab it, pull it forward. But all the gaskets and flanges and brackets, as well as the mechanical pump that came with the assembly, are all bolted up as well. Went together okay. Injectors are, are the greatest pain in the ass uh, so far in this whole thing. Getting all those connectors off and getting those rails in that tight little valley in there. We hope they don't leak, but. We put in new seals. And they're all ready to plug in, so it should hopefully be okay. All the coils are in. Anyway, making uh, making progress. Time to go to bed. Alright, so we're putting the intake plenum and stuff and the different cowlings on. Next will be turbo pipes. as we do our reassembly. The long block came with a new mechanical pump. That'll be nice and welcomed. And then supposedly the updated uh, sprockets and chain as well. Alright, so now we're getting the turbo pipes and all the incidentals installed. Man, is it cramped in here. It's amazing. And we got the hood on and the cowl and the wiper and the wipers and everything else back uh, back up and going so making good progress. Okay and um, the intercooler is now in and the radiator and the AC all back up. Wash, rinse, spin, dry. I think we covered everything. <laughs> we can laugh now. Man this is uh, or was Something else changing this. 
Very busy. Good word. So we're going to put some new orange stuff in the coolant uh, system. Turn the key and if you hear a loud yell it's because it blew up and we'll be getting drunk if that, uh, if that happens. Okay, so the hood and everything's all on and we are moments from being ready to rock. Well, we got the front end all on. Well, as far as we've gone, and this was last night, and all the wiring, all the sensors, right down to the out outside temperature sensor, and all the little incidentals, and every loom back in the proper boss and in its place, and uh, everywhere else. Anyway, all to no avail. As soon as we turn the key on, um, we smell gas. And I'll tell you what. God help anyone that has or ever has to service injectors on a on an EcoBoost motor, because they are a nightmare to to uh, to get in and out. And somehow we probably rolled a seal, so it's all got to come back apart again. And it's one hundred and sixty-seven dollars for injector O-rings, and uh, it's just what do you do? I mean, it's one of those things. All due respect, I've seen uh, I've seen better designs. So there's a roadblock. So close to finality, ready to turn the key, all the fluids in it, and then all this. So we had to take the entire uh, coolant crossover pipe and uh, all those things off to, to get down to, uh, to the injectors. And they're down here, and you've seen them before. I've already got the uh, driver's side rail out. Well, here we are done and uh, all set, running great, into the net hours. Better late than never as the saying goes, quiet as a mouse. That would then put finality to this project with a 3.5 EcoBoost and a 2011 F-150 platform. Boy, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to do it again.